Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about the GNOME desktop environment and some recently announced changes for it, one of which is the release of GTK4. And I'll also be looking into the upcoming version of GNOME, which is GNOME 40. So let's take a look. If you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. All right, so here we have GTK4. For those of you that don't know, GTK is the toolkit that the GNOME desktop environment is based on. GTK, GNOME has been based on GTK3 for like the last almost 10 years. With this new update, it brings about a lot of performance improvements, especially with GPU acceleration. They have a lot of other features as well with like media playback, a lot of rendering uh, improvements. And it's going to make it easier for app makers to, to make and design apps with all these new features here. I have the demo myself, although it doesn't run very well on my environment, but you can kind of get a taste and a sample of some new enhancements here. But otherwise, you can see a lot of the, um, a lot of the processes here. One cool thing is that it's going to make it easier, I think, to create video editors as you can see these transitions that are going to be built into the toolkit and so that's going to be interesting for the gnome editors for some of the video editors that are based on gtk4 i think it's just going to make it a lot easier to to work with even though gtk4 has been released gtk3 is still going to be supported uh, for the time being still going to be a lot of apps based on gtk3 and it's just going to take time for them to get ported to gtk4 and to take advantage of its improvements with this news, now we go to the GNOME side of things. And for GNOME, they're going to be releasing GNOME 40 in a few months. I don't think they're going to incorporate all their apps in GTK4, but a lot of apps will be getting ported. And they're going to make a lot of changes in the UI here that I think are, are good and positive. For one, they're going to bring the, um, the panel from the left side to the bottom. I think that just makes it easier. It makes it more familiar, you know, especially if you're coming from Mac. Due to GNOME being built with convergence in mind, it being the base for the Fosh mobile desktop environment that you see like on the Librem 5, this is a, a welcome change. I think GNOME might even look better on tablets and it's looking similar to the experience that you get on the iPad where like this um, panel is in the bottom and then you have the list of apps here. So again, it's a familiar look and I think it's just the, the way to go, um, especially for what GNOME is trying to do. Here's a little video teaser about it here. It does let you pick the workspace or desktop as well in that uh, menu. They're aiming to make these changes in GNOME 40, although you know you never know what can happen in the development process. The upcoming changes to GTK4 are going to be huge. I think it's going to increase the overall performance of the GNOME desktop environment and even make it a lot better and more performant on mobile devices that are based on GNOME, like the Fosh uh, mobile desktop environment. And it's gonna be interesting to see it on other form factors like tablets. But let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the GNOME desktop environment or do you still prefer a different desktop environment entirely? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.